Carolina University and U.S. Cellular present The Coach Mo Show with ECU head coach Scotty Montgomery. And now the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Coming up, we'll have highlights from the USF game at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Also, our Pirate profile will be Jeff Lebo beginning his seventh year as the head coach of the Pirates. Hey, basketball season is just around the corner, and we'll visit with Coach Lebo. Also coming up, it'll be our Camp Connors segment with ECU strength and conditioning coach Jeff Connors. And then a look ahead to Navy. The midshipmen will be here on a Thursday. That's Coach Ken Niamatololo's team on Thursday night right here in Greenville. Hang in there with us. Coach Mo joins me right after this. The Coach Mo Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. With the U.S. Cellular Network, you'll get a stronger signal that works in the middle of anywhere. Why have the latest smartphone if you can't use it wherever you go? Switch to U.S. Cellular for our best plan yet. Seven gigs of data per line for only $49. To share more photos at your cabin or video chat at your secret fishing spot. All for just $49. The best part? We put towers in places the other guys don't. Because U.S. Cellular thinks you deserve a signal that works wherever you are. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get a whopping 7 gigs of data per line for only Bisque. That actually does sound nice. really good. I want everything on here. <laughs> Serious. Okay, mm. this is the third one. Hmm, it's weird. <laughs> Keep tabs on your home, even control it with the all new Suddenly Connected Home, the easy way for peace of mind. We should probably get home. Yeah. Bud Light Party is going to address the issues that matter. We are going to bring America together. Hard. It's a party for everyone. Men. Yeah. Women. Woo! People of all genders. But, you know, gender identity, it's really a spectrum, and we don't need these labels. Beer should have labels, not people. Kablam! Yeah. We don't care. We'll sell you beer. We'll sell you a beer any day of the week. Yeah. We are American. We have the grit to dig deep. And the courage to stand together. For us, it's all or nothing. You see, that's power. We are power. The Coach Mo Show continues with sponsorship by Biden Health, the official health system of the ECU Pirates. Welcome to the show. Coach Mo joins us now. Pirates lose 38 to 22 to USF, a very good football team in the American Athletic Conference. But Scotty, I thought we saw a lot of positives, a lot of things you guys can draw on. Yeah, we, we, we learned a lot. We got some battlers. We had some fighters. We knew it was going to be close down there at the end. And then we'll hopefully we could, you know, get through it, you know, losing. Kobe early in the game uh, was was really hard for our defense and and the plan. You know, you, you, it's very hard to plan that. They got a chance to look at what we did for about three or four series, and then there at the end, they just made a big time play on the post route. Let's pick up the highlights now. The Pirates come out very together as we start this ball game at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. As we pick up the action now, Coach. Uh, Certainly a good first drive for your team, and uh, James Summers was running the football well. Yeah, we made some adjustments in our run game. Worked. Uh, 
a lot of late nights trying to get this run game back at the line of scrimmage a little bit better. And we also felt like we need to, you know, use James a little bit more in the backfield. Uh, he had a, a great week of work getting the ball downhill, trying to be at the line of scrimmage and getting taking three and four yards when they come up. That's, that was the biggest deal, being able to try to get the 30 yards tonight. Colby Gore uh, looks like he uh, separated the ball here from Rodney Adams, and they call him for targeting on this play. You know, tough situation, tough call there. I mean, we, you know, that's a big time turn in, in the ball game. If, if that ball, it didn't hit the ground uh, and then we get the pick and we run it uh, all the way out into about the 40, 42 yard line uh, and they call him for targeting. It went upstairs. They looked at it. You know, I'm not going to complain. Uh, it's just very hard to tell a kid what to do in that situation when it's, you know, he, he feels like he's doing exactly what we coached him to do. Dearness Johnson then uh, takes it in, a 7-3 football game. He gets the first touchdown for the Bulls. And then we move on into the second quarter. Coach, I thought your defense really settled in and started playing really well. You know, they had a lot of speed on their, on their field. That was the one thing that we knew coming in. Their athleticism and speed had given everybody that they played problems. Uh, the only teams that played well against them that could, were the ones that could match their speed. Scheme-wise, I thought Kenwick Thompson and the defense did a good job of trying to make sure we could get enough people to the ball by also containing the quarterback. They just had a lot of, lot of speed out there. Yeah, you force the field goal attempt. It's good from Nadelman, and then the Pirates come back, move the ball offensively. You put Davis Plowman out there. He had the wind at his back here, Coach, and he nails a 49-yarder his best ever. You know, no question. We you know, we were looking at the wind all day. It was kind of changing a little bit on us, and then it kind of stayed that way. So we had we used that in our, in our field position kind of a couple of different ways with our special teams, uh, but good for him hitting that long one. And then USF gets the ball back here late, Coach, in the second quarter. They hit another big explosion play to the tight end here. You know, another one that you just, you know, just it kills you to watch. Uh, when you're trying to contain a running quarterback as well as we were trying to contain him, everything that goes in with it. Uh, we had a mental breakdown there with one, and uh, with, with, with one being the tight end, of course, and, and going down the middle of the scene. Dearness Johnson then takes it in for the touchdown, 17-6. to Our halftime score, Pirates are down by 11 at halftime. We'll be right back with more on the Coach Mo Show, sponsored by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. Stream, share, and game like never before. Now with unlimited data plans available. Suddenlink, more power to you. Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No. Birthday tomorrow. Hotel, hotel. Guitar. Reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party. Relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Mom. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. Every day, we have choices to make, opportunities to take. Some small, some not so small. For the decisions that matter most, bb and is here and has been here for more than 140 years. Sharing the knowledge and the support you need to take on your financial world with confidence. That's the BBNT difference. That's the power of knowledge. Talk to us today. When learning creates leaders, ideas are ignited, focus gets sharper, and service connects generations. We commit our expertise to heal, to discover, and to drive our region forward to a brighter tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. 
Welcome back to the show as we get ready for the second half highlights. And uh, coach, your team plays well. Look like they were playing with some confidence in that first half. Yeah, a lot of you know a lot of playing, good playing by certain people. And you know we had a few breakdowns, but for the most part, they played really, really hard. We just didn't score touchdowns. Our defense was always where they were supposed to be for the most part, and they played really, really good football. But in halftime, they were in great spirits. It was a good locker room. We came back out. We knew what our challenges were, and we tried to adjust. Let's go to the second half highlights now, and we see the first uh, series here with uh, USF, and USF is a team that can run the ball. They can throw the ball effectively at times, too, and they take the ball down the field here, Coach, and Mack takes it in for two yards out of their second possession for a touchdown. You know, that was a, one of those drives that you got it. You know, you want to just get this thing stopped and stopped and stopped. And it was one of those ones where we could have folded up right then. Our guys had, you know, a lot of energy on the sideline. They knew what we missed, made mistakes on, and we came back and answered. 24 to 6, and then uh, Philip Nelson really got clobbered again for the second straight week, and Minshew had to come in off the bench. He did. He came in. I knew that, you know, this week, if he came in, he would be better than he was last week just because of all the practice that he had, and he came in and did a good job. And he did a good job here on this play as he hits DeAndre Ferrier for a big pass play here. Huge play. You know, the biggest thing with, with DeAndre, we said we're gonna, we talked to him all week about we got, we got his back. Just take care of the football. Don't worry about making all the extra yards and all that. At the end of the day, if we can just make a play and hold on to the ball, it would be great. And then Zay Jones uh, with the touchdown catch to make it 24-13. You're right back in the game. And how about Zay again today, Coach? He had 18 catches in this game. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, you know, that's that's amazing to have that many catches in the ball game and in any ball game if it's one time in your career, but to be able to do it. He catches the ball so well. He's physical. He's tough. Uh, he fights for every yard. I mean, he, he, he runs the ball like a running back when he's a receiver out there. We really like the way he plays. And then Davis uh, comes in again. Davis Plowman gets another field goal here. All of a sudden, Coach, we're in the fourth quarter. It's a one-possession game, 24-16 the score. 24-16, uh, right back in the middle of it, uh, counting on the people to make plays. Our special teams got a lot better today. They did a better job. Uh, taking care of the ball, we did a better job. All those things that we've been working on, we're starting to do a better job of our team is starting to take a swing uh, for the good. We played a good football team today, but our, our guys are playing better. And James Summers was the man on this uh, possession, Coach. He was running like a man possessed here. He had some big, big runs for the Pirates here in the fourth quarter to get you right back in the game again. Huge runs. We, we increased our tempo because we knew that we needed to be fresh for the fourth quarter fresh for the third and fourth quarter. So when we got the third and fourth quarter, we felt like we were pretty good. We increased our tempo. James, man, he just he got the ball downhill, just play after play after play. And it became a, a lot for him. It's now a two-point game, Coach, and you elect to go for the two-point conversion. And what were you attempting to do here? Trying to get it back to 24-24, of course. Uh, but in this, this situation, we had a double slant on. They dropped out a lot of men in coverage. Gardner did all that he could do to continue to control it. We thought we could have the back immediately in the flat, but the back's, uh, back, the back's back was to the to the goal line, trying to get it to him. It's been a hard, hard throwing catch. So back in the ball game, still down two points, and then they get the big pass play here from Flowers to Rodney Adams over the middle. That one proved to be really, really crucial because of the plan that we had for the last drive. We really wanted to get a stop there because we had found our run game. If we could have came back in that next series and ran the ball, we felt like we had found exactly what we wanted. Sweet spots in the defense, also the ability to spit it out on the, on the outside. But that play, uh, it's probably something they have been working to try to set up since the first quarter when they've seen our, 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 our number one corner go down. And then, of course, you're forced to throw the ball late on every play, and Nigel Adams and Nigel Harris actually steps in, makes the interception here, and then Mack takes it in uh, for the score. Yeah, I thought that was a contested catch there. I don't, I don't know. I need to see how, how, how tightly they were to uh, uh, Zay on that one. But that was just a, you know, one of those situations where you're forced to throw it every play. And uh, outside of that, our guys took great care of the football. Pirates play hard. They lose it 38-22 the final. And now, Coach, a short week. You've got Navy coming up on a Thursday night. Quick turnaround. we got to get back home. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll practice tomorrow. We'll install tomorrow. Uh, it's fall break, so we get to see our kids a little bit more. And we'll be ready to play. That's Coach Scotty Montgomery. We'll have more on the Coach Mo Show right after this. The Bud Light Party is going to address the issues that matter. We are going to bring America together hard. It's a party for everyone. Men. Yeah. Women. Yeah. People of all genders. But, you know, gender identity, it's really a spectrum, and we don't need these labels. Beer should have labels. Not people. Kablam! Yeah. We don't care. We'll sell you beer. We'll sell you a beer any day of the week. Yeah. 
always playing tricks on you. Good thing you can see a doctor at every eye care center office. Doctors who provide total eye care, from routine eye exams to diagnosing and treating cataracts, glaucoma, and diabetic eye disease. Doctors who listen, explain, and answer questions. Getting the vision care you need is never tricky at eye care center. Click on eyecarecenter.com to find an office near you and to request an exam today. Eye Care Center, doctors focused on you. What looks good? Ooh, lobster bisque. That actually does sound nice. really good. I want everything on here. <laughs> serious. Okay, this is the third one. Hmm, it's weird. Keep tabs on your home, even control it with the all new Suddenlink Connected Home, the easy way for peace of mind. We should probably get home. Yeah. Why have the latest smartphone if you can't use it wherever you go? Switch to US Cellular for our best plan yet. Seven gigs of data per line for only $49. To share more photos at your cabin or video chat at your secret fishing spot, all for just $49. The best part? We put towers in places the other guys don't. Because U.S. Cellular thinks you deserve a signal that works wherever you are. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get a whopping 7 gigs of data per line for only $49. We are American. We have the grit to dig deep. And the courage to stand together. For us, it's all or nothing. You see, that's power. We are power. Welcome back to the show. We're excited about the start of another Pirate basketball season. Do you realize East Carolina has five players on this roster, six, eight, or bigger? Coach Jeff Lebo took time out from his busy schedule to visit with me and give us an update on Pirate Basketball. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile, brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. With ECU basketball coach Jeff Lebo in his seventh season at ECU, time uh, goes by very quickly, doesn't it, Coach? Does it seem like it's been seven years? It's been a long time. We're 27 years total coaching, Jeff, So, uh, but it's been great here and uh, glad to be here and, and uh, excited about the start of my seventh year. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Do you still get as juiced up for the start of another season? Absolutely. I mean, that, that excitement and uh, the ability to work with the guys on a daily basis and uh, to see their growth and uh, the, the very first uh, day is an exciting day. Um, it's a little different now because we've been able to work with our guys before, so it's not like the old days where you start on the 15th of October. We're starting much earlier now, so uh, but always juiced to get out on the floor and, and start to teach and start to put in our system. Is that a good thing, the earlier start? I love it. Um, you know, we've got uh, a, a situation where you can play, you can practice 30 days uh, 40 days before your first uh, uh, contest. So uh, you have some off days in there. You got a little bit uh, more time, I think, to, to put in some things and things can move a little bit slower. But it certainly is odd to be talking about the start of basketball season and we're still in September. Yeah, no question about that. Coach, I was looking at the roster. You have five players, six, eight or bigger this year, and it's taken a long time to get uh, those tall guys in here, but you have to feel good now that you've got some bodies to work with. Yeah, we've got some size, and we got some experience size in there, too. So, uh, you know, you're looking at uh, Andre Washington, a transfer from Wake Forest, a, a one-year guy who's seven, one and three quarters, and uh, I think he's going to be a factor for us. Jabari Craig from junior college at 6'10", 240. Dang Reax, 6'9". Uh, 6'10", um, a guy was hurt for us last year. And then you got Ziggy and Clarence, both 6'8", 6'9", so uh, that are experienced guys. So a lot of bodies there right now. We hope that uh, uh, that we can keep them healthy. I think that's been a big deal for us. We've had some big guys, but they've been hurt. And I think that's the big thing. we got to keep these guys healthy somehow, some way to make it through the entire season. I don't think you have any eligibility left, so you're going to have to find a point guard. So that's going to be a challenge this year, right? It's going to be a challenge. I think, you know, we, we had some tough news when we lost to Sean uh, Williams. Uh, the NCAA said we'll have to sit for the year. Uh, we have, we've got one in a transfer from Hawaii. Uh, 
Isaac Fleming, who won't be able to play, but will be able to help us in practice. So we're going to rely on some freshmen there. I think we'll see uh, Jeremy Shepard play there. You'll see B.J. Tyson probably have to slide down there. Kentrell Barkley possibly. Raekwon Wilkins uh, is another guy that we could play uh, there. But the most important position in college basketball is the point guard position. So, um, you know, a little uneasy uh, because we're young, but we're talented there. We talked about the transition going from Conference USA to the AAC and how you looked out on the floor that first year. And everybody was three or four inches taller, 20 or 30 pounds heavier. So you had to refocus your recruiting a bit, didn't you? Well, you do. And, uh, you know, you learn a lot about what the league's about in the first couple of years and um, you know, what you need to do to, to have the opportunity to compete on a, on a you know, daily basis against those quality of programs. You're, you're talking about uh, teams that we play that have won national championships or been in national championships. So uh, that's exciting. I think we're, fine. we're moving in that direction. I think there's no doubt about that. We've, we've helped ourselves here. And now, you know, can we do it on the court consistently? Can we have, I think our talent level is much higher. Can we stay healthy? Can we really understand all the intricacies of that require no talent to get a chance uh, to win? That'll be the next test for us. Five, four, three, two, one. Today we're with freshman defensive lineman Raekwon Purvis. Uh, Raekwon is tipping the scale right now at about 280 pounds. Today what Raekwon is going to do is he's going to demonstrate what we do in the progression of our phases with the back squat on our what we call our dynamic day. We're going to be using the Tendo unit today. What the Tendo unit does is measures bar speed in meters per second. Today we're looking for 0.7 meters per second and we're going to let the speed dictate the weight. If we were using a three phase progression, the first part of the progression would be the use of a regular back squat using the Tendo unit. So what Raekwon's gonna do is give me two reps and we're looking for 0.7 meters per second. Right now we have 225 on the bar. That's it. The numbers we saw in that set, of course, were above 0.7. I think the first rep was somewhere in the mid 80s. So what that means is we can put more weight on the bar. In the second phase of the progression, we're gonna use a box squat, which is gonna take the stretch reflex out of the movement, and we're purposely doing that. And we're also gonna use chain. The chain is gonna give us accommodating resistance because as it comes off the floor, it's gonna get heavier. Got two reps. We'll pause. Because we were hitting 0.7 with that particular weight, that weight is about right for what our goal is today. The last phase of our progression, we're going to use band tension. Uh, band tension is the most advanced form of training because we have to stabilize as we disengage from the rack. And we have to stabilize from the top down. And then we accelerate out of the bottom again. We'll pause. Fast. That's it. Fast. There you go, rack it. So for this particular exercise, we had 185 on the bar, and we know from the reading that we were getting that we can add weight to the bar because Raekwon was in the 80s again. What we want to do with Raekwon moving into the future is we want to put about 15 pounds on him. He's doing a great job with our developmental squad. The thing that I like about him the most is he puts his heart into everything he does. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide agents. In the nation, if you celebrate it, Nationwide protects it. We put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call your local Nationwide insurance agent, Mary Ruffin in Rocky Mount or Brian Jenkins in Clayton. From North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future. 
a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. America deserves two dinner buffets for 22 bucks. You're right, but more. Weekends should be spectacular, too. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Decision 2016 is a win-win at Golden Corral. Monday through Thursday, get two classic dinner buffets for just 22 bucks. Then make the weekend spectacular with endless prime rib, jumbo butterfly shrimp, and introducing new premium favorites. You, you've got my vote. This guy is the man. He's Jeff Foxworthy, yes. and I approve his message. Did you hear me? Yes! Every day, we have choices to make opportunities to take. Some small, some not so small. For the decisions that matter most, bb and is here and has been here for more than 140 years. Sharing the knowledge and the support you need to take on your financial world with confidence. That's the bb and difference. That's the power of knowledge. Talk to us today. When learning creates leaders, ideas are ignited, focus gets sharper, and service connects generations. We commit our expertise to heal, to discover, and to drive our region forward to a brighter tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center. Eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. It's Thursday Night Football coming up right here at Downey Ficklin Stadium Bagwell Field. Navy will be in town. Another AAC matchup. And our Brian Medor has this week's scouting report. It's a special occasion when the midshipmen come to town as the Pirate Nation has a rich tradition of supporting the military. That said, the pirate ship has been no match for Navy in their two previous visits to Downey Ficklin Stadium. The midshipmen put up a record 76 points back in 2010, then followed that up with 56 two years later. Coming into the season, head coach Ken Niamatololo had to overcome the challenge of replacing not only his entire offensive line, but record-setting quarterback Keenan Reynolds. And he's tried to do that by leaning more on his stable of stellar power backs led by fullback Chris High. It's easier said than done, but the key to beating Navy is stopping that triple option attack. Air Force did it by stacking the line and daring quarterback Will Worth to throw the ball. The result? The Falcons held Navy to just 57 rushing yards, their lowest output in 14 years. On the other side of the ball, the Navy D is as feisty as ever, led by a veteran linebacking core, including sack machine DJ Palmore. It's time to paint it black under the lights at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, so be sure to wear your black for this Thursday night kickoff at 7.30. I'm Brian Meador for the Coach Mo Show. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Join us next week right here on the Coach Mo Show. Have a great week, Eastern Carolina. The Coach Mo Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. The Coach Mo Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.